I haven't talked to you yet, but I thought I could talk to you while getting ready for the day. If you are not sure what this vlog is, I am sharing my morning routine because I work from home most of the time. I do have an office that I drive to, but most of the time I'm able to work from home. So that is what I'm doing today. And by work from home, I'm not super productive at home. So I work at coffee shops normally, but I am getting ready for the day and I wanted to bring you along. I also wanted to share that I want to start something new in my videos. And of course, I think vlogs are entertaining and I could watch vlogs all day every day, but other people normally like to watch vlogs because they want to get something out of it so i want you to get something out of my vlogs so i'm going to start a little segment in my vlogs where i share a little tip about young womanhood about you know being productive and organized and taking care of your house or apartment or something like that so today's tip i'm gonna call them 101s because <laughs> it's kind of like a college class and I love that so today we're going to talk about morning routine 101 or waking up 101 I haven't decided but my key to waking up and I know this is not what a lot of people recommend or it may not be the best thing for you but when I wake up I immediately play the Wordle of the day, which seems silly. It's not as popular anymore. But the reason why I do that is because it helps me wake up my brain as I start thinking of the word. And then it helps me actually get up. And I know it's on your phone and people say, don't look at your phone when you wake up. So I may not keep this habit forever, but this has been my habit for a while now so if you struggle waking up try waking yourself up mentally by doing something that engages your mind change of scenery but i wanted to keep talking to you first sorry about this pimple it's just atrocious and i'm trying to get rid of it i wanted to just chat about working from home because it's been a little bit of a tough adjustment for me because I just do not stay motivated at home. Ways that I try to combat that is through time blocking, which I have talked about on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I time block my days and it keeps me accountable because my toxic trait is I think I have more time to do something than I actually do. And my husband, Alec, all the time is like, upset at me because I'm normally trying to finish dishes or the laundry as we're supposed to be running out the door to go somewhere but I always think I have more time and I never do. Another thing that I do is I try to schedule things in the morning so that I'm you know getting up and going out and doing things so today i am selling something on facebook marketplace it's 30 minutes away so that kind of forces me to get up and get ready quicker because i know i have to drive a little bit and you're probably thinking why are you selling something 30 minutes away i already had an errand out there anyways so i just kind of combined these so i'm going out there selling the item on facebook marketplace and then i'm going to target because i'm trying to find wedding shoes and at my target they have the wedding shoes that i want just not in my size so i thought i could look there honestly as i'm saying this i probably could do an in-store pickup for them 
and I may just do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for helping me figure this out. But I was thinking about this this morning. I am a full-time social media manager and a freelancer on the side. And if you know anything about freelancing, you have to do a lot of work to get clients, apply for little jobs online. And there's always more you can do with social media too. There's just always more you can post, more you can create. And so the job never stops. And recently I've just been on like autopilot, kind of feeling like a social media robot that just creates content nonstop. It hasn't been doing things that I enjoy. So I'm planning tomorrow to totally romanticize a cozy fall night in and do all of the things the lighting the candles the cookies the snacks the movie like doing everything and doing something extra like this for myself because i feel like when you're constantly thinking about all the work you need to do or what you could be doing next it kind of makes working from home harder because you start to resent it and you just don't want to do it you can't be motivated to do it so that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow night and i think that will be what i need please come teach me how to do curtain bangs. I have looked up so many videos and everything and my hair is just stick board straight so it doesn't have any natural wave to it and I think I need a mousse or something to get these to work so somebody help me. Here is the fit for the day. I have Airpostle jeans, this airy little button shirt thing this airy tank top and then my Reebok sneakers and that's kind of the casual fit for today my work from home day the last part of my morning routine is breakfast and I'm kind of all over the place with breakfast I just eat random things I like to meal prep quick and easy breakfast so that during the week I can grab them so this week I did overnight oats. This is a strawberry shortcake flavor. I found it on Pinterest and it's pretty good. I'm gonna sprinkle, I was in a hurry so I grabbed the whole box, but I'm gonna sprinkle graham crackers on top because I think that'd be good and give it the cake sort of feel. But that is my breakfast for today. So that is the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do those for you, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys.